Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family Channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Yes, I had kind of a rough weekend, so my video is a little bit later, but still, two videos in the weekend and again on Monday. Also, if you not from the beach, tomorrow, I promise, I will be back on the beach. Today, from my garden, I have four amazing Bitcoin charts, a trading tip, travel tip, some live advice, the news about Bitcoin surpassing an all-time high and something that I keep a secret till the end. You need to watch the whole video and yes of course also trying to answer one of the questions of the followers no this time there were many followers with the same question now let's quickly jump into the charts to show you what is happening to bitcoin at the moment Bam. the first chart for today guys is the one hour chart why the one hour chart because i want to show you something this is the one hour chart so you might be in bitcoin now and see this chart and you're like oh there's a sell signal oh, oh shit and that candle's even going almost down below the yellow stepping line yeah if you are a short-term trader and you're trading the 15 minute chart and everything yes it's beautiful to look at this but if you don't want to be stressed too much then please put that chart for example on a four hour chart if you put it to a four hour chart hey that looks completely different we just bought we are in an uptrend. Oh yeah, there's a small pullback, but we could even go higher than this to 40 to 64K. Or maybe if we break that, because there's not a lot of resistance, if we look to the right side on the chart, that blue and yellow area, ah, then we can even take it up to maybe a new all-time high 70K. This is how you get a little bit less stressed. The more you zoom out from the four hour now, for example, to a daily chart, Hey, you can see, wow, hey, this is really cool. Uh, a lot of green candles. Why would I worry at this moment? Even those red couple of candles, even they went sideways and we kept moving up. So we are a very bullish market. And if you then zoom out a little bit more, if you zoom out to the weekly chart, I will just keep zooming out, you will also see, hey, this is beautiful. Um, every time again and again, we are going up already since September 2023 in a beautiful uptrend. Uh, this is not going to end yet because we didn't see the halving yet and we probably will see a new autumn high after the halving and a new bull market top somewhere in 2025. So yeah, zooming out makes it all a little bit more simple. Now, let's zoom out a little bit more. This is a beautiful chart that shows you how much volume is uh, now being transferred from the exchanges. And we have a new record of more than two billion dollar worth of Bitcoin leaving the exchanges in one day that's a shitload of bitcoins leaving the exchanges in one single day guys that's more than the, in the mid of 2021 you know in, in july that period this is even more bitcoins leaving the exchanges than in that period guys it's very positive because if there is no bitcoins on the exchanges there is not too much selling pressure now the more important chart for the day is this one the plan b bitcoin market cycle their first red dot appeared on the chart. Now, just look to the left, to these beautiful colors, and tell me what you see every time when the first red dot appeared on the chart. All the way there, back in 2010, the first red dot was followed by a lot of red dots, all higher, higher, higher. Then the second time, 2013, first red dot, a lot of red dots, two yellow dots, bam, again, red dots, higher, higher, higher. Now, for most of you, probably stepped in in 2017 bull market. Um, look, the first red dot came and we, get, we, and we got like 12 dots higher, higher, higher and higher. Now, 2020, the last bull market, same. When the first red dot appeared, the rest of the red dots went higher, higher, higher and higher. We even had a few yellow dots, but again, followed by two red dots, that was the double top. So we didn't have a blow off top, but we had a distribution top, a double top. Now... The first red dot appeared on the chart again. So this means that the accumulation time is now over. It should have been accumulating already since 16,000 all the way up to 50K. Now the official accumulation time is over. We are now officially in a bull market if you look at this chart. And that's very important. When we will see the yellow dots again, that's distribution. That's when you kind of exchange your Bitcoins again into stable coins to be able to buy a shitload back when those dots are green because that's the bear market bottom. So that's where you buy back. Now, so you buy at the green dots and you sell at the last red dot or the first yellow dot and then you buy back at the green dots. Very simple, guys. That's a four-year cycle. Very important chart. 
Yes, again, amazing charts. Yes, we can zoom in and freak out about the minute charts and all that stuff, but we don't do that on this channel. Here we zoom in on every minute of the life and you need to enjoy every minute of your life. And you zoom out in Bitcoin, you look at the bigger picture. And that bigger picture is showing us the first red dot on that stock to flow chart of plan B. And that first red dot is a very important red dot because if you look back to the past, to when these first red dots started to appear on the chart in the previous bull markets, you can see it was followed up by 10 to 12 another beautiful red dots. And they were all higher than each other, which could mean that this is the start of the bull market again and every red dot, so the red dot that will be there appearing at the end of March will be higher, at the end of April will be higher, at the end of May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December will be higher, almost a song. So that red dot on this model, stock to flow, is a very beautiful uh, moment in Bitcoin's history every time again and again and again. It also is now. Now, let's jump into the trading tip. The trading tip for today is something on Bybit. Ether Games. I've talked about Ether Games already a few times in my videos because I really love the project. I did invest in the project. I told you also to invest in the project. Now, up to today, I think another three hours, four hours, you have the time to join the Bybit Lottery of Ether Games. You need to do some steps. You can see it all on the Bybit website. Click the link down below this video to go to that Bybit website. If you use that link, you can access that lottery and with that lottery draw you can win some nice prizes so that's the trading tip today i'm going to keep this video very short because my weekend was really rough so go to bybit use the link down below join the ether games lottery draw and uh, try to win one of those beautiful prizes over there guys now let's go into the travel tip The travel tip for today is a very useful one if you travel to, for example, Asia or South America or any other country. If you want to visit all these amusement parks or water parks or whatever it is, try to get a local to buy your tickets. Because when local people buy the tickets, they get a massive discount. Mostly it's like all the way up to 60% discount for local people. And when they buy the ticket, the ticket doesn't show any name or nothing. So when you get the ticket and you go to the address and you can just enter, but you paid the local price. So the travel tip for today is, if you are like me, always wanna hassle in all kinds of way, not because it's necessary, but because you love the game, then try to have local people buy your amusement park tickets and everything because that will save you a lot of bucks and you can spend those to Bitcoin again so you accumulate more Bitcoin because you get a discount because the local people help you to buy a ticket and you of course give those local people a small commission preferably in Bitcoin open them a wallet of Satoshi or something simple that they can do in five minutes and send them some sets as thanks for their help now that was a travel tip The question for today is a question that I'm asked many times by many people. Didi, which wallets are you using? I diversify my portfolio into hardware, software, and exchanges. So my hardware wallets that I'm using is the Ledger, is the Bitbox, and it's the Keystone. The Keystone I started to use like since two weeks or something. I'm still testing it, but I really like it because it has the user interface of an iPhone and it has all the other strengths that the Ledger and the Bitbox also have. Uh, it's a little bit bigger though. So the other ones are small. You can hide them more easy in beautiful places. The Keystone is a little bit more difficult to hide. But then again, the simplicity of usage is a little bit more better. So that's my hardware wallets. Then as the software wallets, I am using Green Wallet, Sparrow Wallet, Electron Wallet, Wasabi Wallet, Samurai Wallet, and Wallet of Satoshi I use for Lightning transactions uh, in stores and everything. So I don't have too much on my Wallet of Satoshi because that's a custodial software wallet. That's not a self-custody wallet, so that's a wallet that has custody over your funds. So that's always like, I use this uh, 50 euros, 100 euros, sometimes 200 euros on this uh, Wallet of Satoshi. But those other wallets, I diversify my Bitcoins on as well. And then of course, I'm also using Web3 wallets like MetaMask because I need to connect to staking algorithms and all that stuff. So MetaMask is also part of my portfolio. Blue wallet was part, but because he stuck with the lining part, I don't use that wallet anymore. So that is all the hardware, software wallets and online wallets. And then of course, yes, also some Bitcoins on Bybit and everything, everywhere in the exchanges to trade and all that stuff. But that's not considered as a wallet, that's more like an exchange. So that was my wallet portfolio. The news for today about Bitcoin is that 
$2 billion worth of Bitcoin exited from exchanges. They are exiting from exchanges in a very fast, rapid tempo. The fastest pace since mid-2021. And you know what that means. When the Bitcoins are leaving the exchanges, a lot of people trust that the bull market will still take a couple of months to a year because they don't want to have the risk with their Bitcoins in an exchange. They buy the Bitcoins during the bear market, then they withdraw them all to their happy wallets, the one we just discussed, and they keep them there safe till they expect the bull market top to come near. And then they will move them back to exchanges or use decentralized exchanges, maybe other options, OTC, Desk or whatever, to sell their Bitcoins into USDT or DAI or USDC, any other stable coin that you think of, or maybe into gold. Uh, to be able to buy back again near the bear market bottom. So every time when we see these massive moves of flows out of the exchanges, we know that there is not much selling pressure left. So we can see the outflows from exchanges, we can see the outflows from the miners, so we can see all these outflows very easily because the blockchain is transparent. And what we understand then, or what we need to understand, that is there is not a lot of Bitcoins for sale and the demand keeps growing, there can only one thing be happening and as the price will increase massively. So the more Bitcoins are not held on exchanges, the less Bitcoins are available to sell or to buy for people, but the demand is growing, 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 so the price will go up. So the moment you want to play the short term game of selling and buying back, selling and buying back, like short term, just keep an eye on, for example, the spot ETFs. When they slow down in buying, like from 600 million a day to 500 million, to three, to one, to 50 million a day, we can see the downtrend in the aggressive way of accumulating Bitcoins at the spot ETFs. I think that is the moment when we can see a dip. And then you can sell a little bit and buy back in a dip. I don't play this game. In the bull market, I just keep accumulating. I just keep buying. Everything I earn every day, every month, bam, into Bitcoin, bam, into Bitcoin, bam, into Bitcoin. Because that other game, you will be like stressed as hell. Ah, oh, shit, I sold too early. Ah, oh, shit, I bought back too early. Ah, oh, shit, I should have bought more early. I, I, I don't, you get crazy of that game. So just keep adding to your Bitcoins. Start to treat Bitcoin as your core capital. Just see it as your bank account. Everything needs to be in Bitcoin. And sometimes you take a little bit out to buy groceries or to buy a car or whatever you want, okay? So that was the news for today. Two billion dollar worth of Bitcoins left the exchanges in one day. And that is how we arrive at the end of the video. Yes, keeping it very short hopefully today because I'm sweating, I'm warm, I wanna get, go to the sea because we have some Dutch friends uh, visiting me from Portugal over here. So yes, also spending some time with them. The life quote for today is, a lot of failures happen in life because people didn't realize how close they were to success when they gave up. Sometimes people gave up like one day or two days too early before they reached success. And that's a very interesting quote because that quote is telling you to never give up. You will reach that success that you are going for if you don't give up. The moment you give up, that is the moment it becomes a failure. If you just don't give up, it can't become a failure. You can only keep working harder and harder and harder to reach that success that you want to reach. And if that is like reading a book or the end of the book, or if that is like passing an exam, or if that is like becoming a billionaire, or if that is like a rocket scientist, or whatever you want to become, whatever your goal is, whatever you want to achieve in life, the moment you give up, you will fail. And you will never know if at the end you would have reached. So just don't give up. Just keep fighting for what you want to achieve in life. And that's how you become successfully and probably also very happy after, guys. That's a very short life quote for the day, but uh, I need some life energy there, some juice and all that stuff uh, to power up again, guys. Um, thank you for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed the video, the charts, everything else. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. My apologies again, it's a little bit shorter than normal, but please give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and please tell one of your friends, colleagues, wives, if you have many wives, uh, today about the Bitcoin Family channel, because we want to grow to 75K subscribers before 
Bitcoin does that as well. Guys, now, thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing Monday, a beautiful week. See you tomorrow again on the beach with booties and Bitcoin and beach. Bam.